In this video, we will see an example on phasers. Question Transform these sinusoids to phasers. Here it is given in sinusoidal form or sinusoids form, and we have to convert this current and voltage into its equivalent phasers. So, solution for this will be currently it is given in time domain format. So, its solution will be magnitude of I is equal to 6 which is the amplitude or maximum current at an angle. Now, here the angle will be here we can see the value of phi is minus 40 degree. So, this is the answer for this A but for this B why we have taken this directly because it is in cosine form positive cosine form but here for this question b or voltage it is given in minus sine form so first of all we have to convert this into positive cosine so let's see how we can convert minus sine into positive cosine so let's copy this let's go to the basics for this so, here on this horizontal axis, this is positive cos omega t, this is minus cos omega t, this is plus sin omega t, and this is minus sin omega t. Now, we want to convert minus sin into this minus sin into plus cos. So, if we go from here to here, the phasor rotate in this direction. So, it is the direction of rotation. Now, we are going from here to here. So, here the angle difference is 90 degree. That means, here we can write minus sin omega t is equal to cos omega t plus 90 degree. Cos omega t plus 90 degree. So, here for this question, here it is minus sin, minus 4 sin. So, this will be small v is equal to, this is the solution for this question. So, it will be 4 cos 30 t, 30 t plus 50 degree. Now, here what we have to do, we have to add 90 degree to it because we change this from minus sine to plus cosine. So, this will be now 4 cos v is equal to 4 cos 30 t and this will be plus 140 degree. So, in phasor form this will be magnitude of v that is capital V and this will be 4 at an angle 140 degree. So, this is the final answer for this question and it is in phasor form. Here the value of omega is 30 and here the value of omega is 50 radian per second. So, this is how we can transform these phasors, these phasors, we can transform these sinusoids to phasors. Don't forget to share to this video and thanks for watching.